Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay, Sagittarius, what is the overall energy between you and your person? Here's the hanged man. The king of cups. And the tower. Interesting. So it looks like there are feelings of deep love and care between many of you here, but for some reason they've been put on hold. We're going to clarify some more here. Let's see what this tower, because this is something kind of drastic happening right now in your connection. Something kind of shocking. Um, it could be, for some of you, it could be a breakup. For others of you, it could be you found out something you didn't know about your person. Or it could be something as light as just some kind, something that's kind of surprising. Where you're seeing your person in just a whole new light. Because we have the hangman here too. So you guys are seeing each other differently than you had in a while. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So maybe this tower is something that's kind of splitting you guys apart right now. Some of you might still be together with them. But you can't be together as much as you would like. Like physically. Here's vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Maybe something is kind of causing you to shut down with them right now as well. Maybe you started to share too much of yourself with them. And then... You uh, got kind of shy about that. Maybe you realized they didn't want to be as open with you. Your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so whatever this tower was, you guys still feel very connected to this person. I feel you, many of you are still going to want to pursue a connection with this person. Exchanging gifts, number 27. Let's clarify the tower. So what does the tower mean for most of the Sagittarius is here? The Page of Pentacles. I'm feeling for some of you, we have gift stuff here. I'm feeling maybe you were expecting your person to maybe give you something more. Um, you weren't expecting like a lot of them. A lot from them, but maybe they have uh, um, kind of upset your expectations. Like one more time, you thought maybe you had very fair expectations. So now you're kind of seeing things differently. You're trying to come to terms with this. There's the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is all about you seeing the truth of something now. You're really seeing like maybe your person isn't in the place to be able to give you what you deserve right now, even though you do feel like this is your soulmate here. So let's take a look at more detail. Are you Sagittarius and your person? So... What's going on, Sagittarius, in this connection? What is their overall energy right now? This is the Two of Wands. Maybe for a few of you, some of you gave them a gift, and they didn't react as you expected. Here's the Magician. Okay, the Two of Wands. So some of you are contemplating maybe going... A different direction either with your life or with this connection and here's the eight of pentacles yeah i feel like many of you are kind of taking a step back from this connection after whatever the shock was or see what you're seeing differently now maybe you're seeing something differently about your life and you're like yeah it's i'm ready to just kind of withdraw a bit and get to work on my own life i want to feel empowered on my own i don't want to feel that i need someone else to uh, feel powerful Okay, so here it's the Two of Pentacles for your person. So I feel like they are going back and forth. They haven't made up their mind about things. They could just be generally really busy in their life right now, and that, that's keeping them from being able to give you what you deserve, even if you don't have really, you know, unreasonable expectations. I feel like they're not even meeting, like, your reasonable expectations. And here's the Seven of Swords. So I feel like they could be hiding some things about their daily life that they just don't want you to see. They just, yeah, they, they are having a hard time wanting to open up about things. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. The Moon. I feel like they're very confused. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles could be you here, you know, you kind of stepping into your power and going your own way. I feel they're very confused by you. They can't figure you out. For some reason here. What else for you Sagittarius? But yeah. I do feel like they, they want to keep themselves hidden. Something about themselves hidden. From you for some reason. Uh, some of you will have an idea of what that is. So. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be something super shady. Okay, this for you, what do we have? Express your love. And for them, we have free yourself and deception. Yeah, more hiding. So I feel they were afraid to get too close to you. Um, I feel maybe you did express your love. I think that's kind of what we were saying at the beginning. This might have made some of them run or just kind of sneak away or ghost you or something. Just they were not expecting it or ready for that. So that, that could be what this tower moment is. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you did kind of express something like about how you more of your deeper feelings for them. And um, we do have King of Cups for mutual energy. So it's, they could be having these feelings as well. And they just weren't ready to face them. What else for you, Sagittarius? Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So even if you're deciding to kind of step step back or go your own way for right now, I feel like you're still, like I said, you're still wanting to pursue something with this person because we have true love here, we have soulmate here. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, I feel like you opened up, you started to be more vulnerable, and they they immediately put these walls up and that um it's been a little bit hard for you to handle but overall i feel like you're doing pretty well since we have this magician card here so yeah like i said you're you're staying in your power pretty well okay what else for you sagittarius i feel like you're being pretty confident in this situation i feel like you just you really know what you want. You're really clear on what you want from someone in a relationship. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah, this whole thing about they just weren't ready for this. And here's I want to be more than friends. Okay, so that could be something that they're hiding from you. Like, they do feel you as more than a friend. They um, Some of you might actually be in a relationship with them, so that might just be like, well, yeah. Um, let's get another card here. I wonder if you're happy without me. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles here. Because you, you, I feel like that is you showing up here. And, and this could be them just confused about what you're up to, wanting to know what you're up to. Okay, Sagittarius, what else for you? Here's limited. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Yeah, you've done everything you can. And I feel like that you're making that's how you're making your peace because it's like you feel free and clear because I feel like you've said everything you needed to. And for them, truth, wow. I know you can feel me and you're inside my mind. You know the truth I've been trying to hide. Oh my gosh. So this is so much hiding stuff here. Okay. So for some of you, it is as innocent as they just are really running from their feelings. They're really scared to reveal their feelings for others of you. Um, maybe, you know, some kind of, you know, secret or something about their life. They just don't want you to, they don't want to open up about. So just take it for your situation. Okay. Sagittarius, what else for you? Here's your perfect custom fit, trust, number 33. So you still feel like this could work out with this person or you're, you're working on trusting that if it doesn't work out with them, there will be you know something better coming in for you. So this is why I feel you're in a, you're in a good place. You, um, you have a pretty enlightened view on the situation. So we do have the hangman here. So that could be a card of you know, enlightenment. Secrets. <laughs> the, the truth is I love you. Wow. And here's shocking, like the tower, number 36. I'm amazed by your beauty. And here's 24, separation, time apart. This time has taught me so much. So some of them could be coming to the realization, the shocking realization, um, you know, seeing you in a new light. Some of this could be waking up to their deeper feelings for you as time apart has taught them a lot. And maybe it's starting to help them feel what's inside they, for you. Okay, let's get some more details on you guys. So Sagittarius, what are you thinking about the person and this connection? All right. So we have justice again. Yeah. That's very interesting. Cause I was getting a lot about 
fairness here that you've been very fair in the matter matter you want to continue to treat them fairly see things um from both sides you have been very balanced in the matter and yeah speaking of balance i think this is the two of pentacles here so yeah, i just feel like you're being very understanding of what they're dealing with on a daily basis and here's the fool so i feel like you're ready to you know forgive forget let, let's move on let's get a new start um this is you either, you know, being totally up for restarting something with them and just moving on to the next phase with them, or this could be you just revving up to be happy in your life, you know, just like balancing any karma you have between you two and getting busy in with your own stuff and going. Okay, what else for your person, Sagittarius? The so Queen of Pentacles. Interesting since we have the Nine of Pentacles coming up as well. This could be who they're seeing you as. There's the five of cups. Wow. Yeah. Maybe really missing you. Really starting to understand your value and what they could be missing out on here. There's the seven of cups. So there's a lot of confusion coming up for them with the moon and the seven of cups. I feel like this is doing them doing more pondering on what's going on with you. What are you thinking? Is this something that can be reconciled? So let's clarify the seven of cups here. There's the star. Yeah, I do. I do feel like they are wondering if there's still hope for this connection. They're wondering, Hey, did I screw things up too much? So since we do have like a person coming up here in their thoughts, I, I do feel like this is a confirmation. They're thinking about you a lot at this time. Okay, what are you feeling for them, Sagittarius? Here's the world. Yeah, again, I'm feeling you feel complete with the situation. You feel really good to move forward from here, wherever that may lead. Here's the hanged man. You're just kind of surrendering things right now. And judgment. More karma clearing, more being like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with the past. I'm okay with how I acted in this situation. I'm okay with, you know, being free and going forward from here. I'm okay with things like the divine just helping um, let things play out. And, um, yeah, you're kind of letting the divine take it from here, I feel. And, and this is giving you a good sense of freedom right now. Because you feel like there's no more action you can really take with this person at this point in time. So the world could also mean that you're very focused, like we saw with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Magician, you're very focused on making some big success for yourself in your life. That's where your heart is right now. So that's good. Okay, so what are they feeling about you, Sagittarius? The Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands. And the hermit. Okay, so I feel like some of them are feel like they need to kind of hide away. Um, this is for many of you. This is a twin connection with the four of wands here, right in the middle. So they could be. I, I feel many of them are kind of shrinking away from this the powerful connection they feel with you. They could also be afraid that they you know understandably upset you somehow. And this, I do feel like intimidation right now. Oh, King of Cups just popped right off the deck here. So I feel intim intimidation um, by their feelings for you. This could be like where they just did not expect to develop any feelings. They freaked out about this. Okay, yeah, what are they hiding from here? It's the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Page of Pentacles here as well, I'm, I'm feeling that they don't want you, I feel like they don't want to like talk about how they just don't have very much to give you right now. And I feel a little bit of a sense of shame of this about this. So this might be the main thing they're hiding from you is just maybe they made it seem like their life is more together than it really is. But they're really only just kind of getting started on their journey right now. That's how they feel it. 
and they feel like, wow, you're doing really well for yourself, and I'm just, you know, this page over here. Okay, what else is going on with you, Sagittarius? Here's the Nine of Cups. This is really good to see for you as well. Let's see, Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so well, in spite of possibly being rejected by this person, left out in the cold or ghosted or something, I feel you're you're doing your best to enjoy your life right now. And you're like, you know, hey, I'm here if you want to come back around. And here's the three of wands, because you do still have a lot of hope for the future with this connection, or you have optimism about your future in general. So yeah, you guys, I'm really happy that you're looking pretty good overall, despite having some adversity and frustration here. This might this might be a situation that's been going on for a while for some of you, so maybe you're just able to come more to peace with it. And we have the Ace of Wands coming out for you as well, which is awesome. And then right under that, here's the Queen of Wands. So this is awesome. You guys are getting fired up about your life again. So yeah, so when this person comes back around, you're going to be ready for them. Or when, you know, if you're ready to go out and meet someone new, you're going to be able to level up because you're really you know, starting to get your confidence going better. So that's cool. Okay, what about your person here? Here's the Hierophant. The King of Wands. I think there's a match here, the King and Queen of Wands. And the Six of Wands. So I feel like they are being really motivated right now to... Like, I feel like they, they have the pressure on them to start succeeding more in their life. I feel they, they have some pretty rigid boundaries up with this because they are, I feel like, tired of not feeling, like, confident enough, not feeling successful enough. So they're not really in a place where they're ready to jump into a relationship right now. So, yeah, I, I'm not seeing, like, a lot of... Uh, movement in the connection right now for a lot of you since like the hangman is right here but again this is current energy so it's not like it's going to be stuck like this forever necessarily okay so let's see what else is going on what are your person's intentions towards you right now Sagittarius the two of wands so it looks like they're still kind of in a position of trying to make a decision we have another two here the two of pentacles they're feeling split. They feel like they're at a crossroads about this right now. So, yeah, I don't see, like, any, like, really direct action right now. But I feel like they also haven't given up on this either. They're not really retreating. Just trying to kind of figure things out. Trying to gain confidence to actually show you some more of themselves. Okay, what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you? Here's the hermit. Yeah, what do you know? Of course, um, just afraid to show you more of their life, to show you who they are. I feel like they're a very private person. Some of you could be with the Scorpio here. Okay, and what does the near future look like for this connection, like the next week or so? Here's the Five of Swords. So I feel, yeah, this is this person's probably doing you a favor by staying kind of shut off right now because um, that will keep things peaceful between you two. Because I feel like if you guys did come together, you know, in the near future this week, like they, they're still dealing with a lot. So um, it might be a um, like it might be weather for a storm between you two if you guys like were to face them or try to try to get more truth out of them, this probably wouldn't be the time to do that. So this card is just to let you know of the energetic forecast. It doesn't mean like for sure you're going to have problems. It just means problems could be likely. So just be careful. Okay. So advice between for you Sagittarius in this connection and in your life. And really, I don't see any reason to, if you guys are separated, to be approaching this person right now, like in the near future, just because you guys are have a lot of success energy right here, a lot of making your dreams come true stuff, so it's pretty cool. Ace of Cups, good. Okay, start um, feeling that love for life again. Start feeling, um, find something new to fall in love with um, if this person is not accepting your love right now. Um, find love for yourself. And for some of you, this could mean if you're being pu um, pulled to go into somewhere else, you could find new love somewhere else because you are looking very confident and good right now. Oh, 
Okay, and here's a drift. This is number 27, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Wow, that's, uh, we were getting a lot of surrender coming through here. Okay, so I feel like this card's coming through to let you guys know that you're on the right track. You've been doing the right thing. You've done everything you possibly could. You've been very fair in the situation. So I feel like your karma is all clean in the situation since we had like justice and judgment and just, um, you know, some pr really positive cards coming. The world, completion, you know, lots of positive cards coming through for you. So that's really great, you guys. Okay, so let's get some messages from them. What would a Sagittarius person actually say to them right now? You are the right person at the wrong time. So they really do see your value here. They're like, man, I'm not in the place in my life where I can give you what you deserve. You give so much. You have so much to give, and I don't. Okay, I feel unworthy of your love. Yeah, that's more of like they, because they, they feel like they can't give you much. Like, no, what the heck? I can't give you what you need. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this seems to be the main theme of the reading is feeling like they have nothing they can give you and really this is what's making them, that's the big thing they're being um, triggered into hiding. I want to risk it all, but I'm scared. It's like we're star-crossed lovers, will we ever make it work? I'm not ready for commitment with anyone. Yeah, they still have a lot to figure out on their own. They still have a lot of learning to do here, the Hierophant. They're like learning, you know, how to be more confident and secure in themselves. I could listen to your voice for days on end. Very interesting. Because I think on the bottom of this deck we had, I miss the way we talked. So, yeah, that's really coming through here that, um, you know, they miss your conversations, they like something about your voice. So some of them could be coming to the realization, the shocking realization, um, you know, seeing you in a new light. Some of this could be waking up to their deeper feelings for you as time apart has taught them a lot. And maybe it's starting to help them feel what's inside they, for you. Okay, let's get some more details on you guys. So Sagittarius, what are you thinking about the person and this connection? All right, so we have justice. Again, yeah, that's very interesting because I was getting a lot about fairness here, that you've been very fair in the matter. matter. You want to continue to treat them fairly, see things um, from both sides. You've been very balanced in the matter. And, yeah, speaking of balance, I think this is the two of pentacles here. So yeah, I just feel like you're being very understanding of what they're dealing with on a daily basis. And here's the fool. So I feel like you're ready to, you know, forgive, forget, let, let's move on, let's get a new start. Um, this is you either, you know, being totally up for restarting something with them and just moving on to the next phase with them, or this could be you just revving up to be happy in your life, you know, just like balancing any karma you have between you two and getting busy in with your own stuff and going. Okay, what else for your person, Sagittarius? It's the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting since we have the Nine of Pentacles coming up as well. This could be who they're seeing you as. There's the Five of Cups. Wow. Yeah, maybe really missing you. Really starting to understand your value and what they could be missing out on here. There's the Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of confusion coming up for them with the Moon and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is doing them doing more pondering on what's going on with you. What are you thinking? Is this something that can be reconciled? So let's clarify the Seven of Cups here. There's the star. Yeah, I do. I do feel like they are wondering if there's still hope for this connection. They're wondering, hey, did I screw things up too much? So since we do have like a person coming up here in their thoughts, I, I do feel like this is a confirmation they're thinking about you a lot at this time. Okay, what are you feeling for them, Sagittarius? Here's the world. 
Yeah, again, I'm feeling you feel complete with the situation. You feel really good to move forward from here, wherever that may lead. Here's the hanged man. You're just kind of surrendering things right now. And judgment. More karma clearing, more being like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with the past. I'm okay with how I acted in this situation. I'm okay with, you know, being free and going forward from here. I'm okay with things like the divine just helping um, let things play out. And, um, yeah, you're kind of letting the divine take it from here, I feel. And, and this is giving you a good sense of freedom right now. Because you feel like there's no more action you can really take with this person at this point in time. So the world could also mean that you're very focused, like we saw with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Magician, you're very focused on making some big success for yourself in your life. That's where your heart is right now. So that's good. Okay, so what are they feeling about you, Sagittarius? The Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands. And the Hermit. Okay, so I feel like some of them are feel like they need to kind of hide away. Um, this is for many of you. This is a twin connection with the Four of Wands here, right in the middle. So they could be. I, I feel many of them are kind of shrinking away from this the powerful connection they feel with you. They could also be afraid that they, you know, understandably upset you somehow. And this, I do feel like intimidation right now. Oh, King of Cups just popped right off the deck here. So I feel intim intimidation um, by their feelings for you. This could be like where they just did not expect to develop any feelings. They freaked out about this. Okay, yeah, what are they hiding from here? It's the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Page of Pentacles here as well, I'm feeling that they don't want you, I feel like they don't want to like talk about how they just don't have very much to give you right now. And I feel a little bit of a sense of shame of this about this. So this might be the main thing they're hiding from you is just maybe they made it seem like their life is more together than it really is. But they're really only just kind of getting started on their journey right now. That's how they feel it. And they feel like, wow, you're doing really well for yourself. And I'm just, you know, this page over here. Okay, what else is going on with you, Sagittarius? Here's the Nine of Cups. This is really good to see for you as well. Let's see, Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so well, in spite of possibly being rejected by this person, left out in the cold or ghosted or something, I feel you're you're doing your best to enjoy your life right now. And you're like, you know, hey, I'm here if you want to come back around. And here's the Three of Wands, because you do still have a lot of hope for the future with this connection, or you have optimism about your future in general. So yeah, you guys, I'm really happy that you're looking pretty good overall, despite having some adversity and frustration here. This might, this might be a situation that's been going on for a while for some of you. So maybe you're just able to come more to peace with it. And we have the Ace of Wands coming out for you as well, which is awesome. And then right under that, here's the Queen of Wands. So this is awesome. You guys are getting fired up about your life again. So yeah, so when this person comes back around, you're going to be ready for them. Or when, you know, if you're ready to go out and meet someone new, you're going to be able to level up because you're really, you know, starting to get your confidence going better. So that's cool. Okay, what about your person here? Here's the Hierophant. The King of Wands. I think there's a match here, the King and Queen of Wands. And the Six of Wands. So I feel like they are being really motivated right now to, like I feel like they, they have the pressure on them to start succeeding more in their life. I feel they, they have some pretty rigid boundaries up with this because they are, I feel like tired of not feeling like confident enough, not feeling successful enough. So they're not really in a place where they're ready to jump into a relationship right now. 
So yeah, I, I'm not seeing like a lot of uh, movement in the connection right now for a lot of you since like the hangman is right here. But again, this is current energy. So it's not like it's going to be stuck like this forever necessarily. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. What are your person's intentions towards you right now, Sagittarius? The Two of Wands. So it looks like they're still kind of in a position of trying to make a decision. We have another two here, the Two of Pentacles. They're feeling split. They feel like they're at a crossroads about this right now. So, yeah, I don't see like any like really direct action right now, but I feel like they also haven't given up on this either. They're not really retreating. Just trying to kind of figure things out. Trying to gain confidence to actually show you some more of themselves. Okay, what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you? Here's the hermit. Yeah, what do you know? Of course, um, just afraid to show you more of their life, to show you who they are. I feel like they're a very private person. Some of you could be with the Scorpio here. Okay, and what does the near future look like for this connection, like the next week or so? Here's the five of swords. So I feel, yeah, this is, this person is probably doing you a favor by staying kind of shut off right now because um, that will keep things peaceful between you two. Because I feel like if you guys did come together, you know, in the near future this week, like they, they're still dealing with a lot. So um, it might be a, um, like it might be weather for a storm between you two if you guys like were to face them or try to try to get more truth out of them. This probably wouldn't be the time to do that. So this card is just to let you know of the energetic forecast. It doesn't mean like for sure you're going to have problems. It just means problems could be likely. So just be careful. Okay. So advice between for you Sagittarius in this connection and in your life. And really, I don't see any reason to, if you guys are separated, to be approaching this person right now, like in the near future, just because you guys are you have a lot of success energy right here, a lot of making your dreams come true stuff, so it's pretty cool. Ace of Cups, good. Okay, start um, feeling that love for life again. Start feeling, um, find something new to fall in love with um, if this person is not accepting your love right now. Um, find love for yourself. And for some of you, this could mean if you're being pu um, pulled to go into somewhere else, you could find new love somewhere else because you are looking very confident and good right now. Okay. And here's a drift. This is number 27, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Wow. That's uh, we were getting a lot of surrender coming through here. Okay. So I feel like this card is coming through to let you guys know that you're on the right track. You've been doing the right thing. You've done everything you possibly could. You've been very fair in the situation. So I feel like your karma is all clean in the situation since we had like justice and judgment and just, um, you know, some pr really positive cards coming, the world completion, you know, lots of positive cards coming through for you. So that's really great. You guys. Okay. So let's get some messages from them. What would a Sagittarius person actually say to them right now? You are the right person at the wrong time. So they really do see your value here. They're like, man, I'm not in the place in my life where I can give you what you deserve. You give so much, you have so much to give and I don't. Okay. I feel unworthy of your love. Yeah. That's more of like they because they, they feel like they can't give you much. Like, no, what the heck? I can't give you what you need. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this seems to be the main theme of the reading, is feeling like they have nothing they can give you, and really this is what's making them, that's the big thing they're being um, triggered into hiding. I want to risk it all, but I'm scared. It's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? I'm not ready for commitment with anyone. Yeah, they still have a lot to figure out on their own. They still have a lot of learning to do here, the Hierophant. They're like learning, you know, how to be more confident and secure in themselves. Okay. 
I could listen to your voice for days on end. Very interesting. Cause I think on the bottom of this deck we had, I missed the way we talked. So yeah, that's really coming through here that, um, you know, they miss your conversations. They like something about your voice. 